So, I'm a little late on the actual greeting here. This is Paco. He's, I would say, clearly a Minpin Chihuahua. Might even, I mean, oh, here he comes! Powder? So what do we think? He's three years old? Oh, here's the... Oh, he's gonna meet... He's gonna meet... Oh, he's gonna meet Porter. Okay. <laughs> so, the tales of his aggression <laughs> may be a little overblown. No, I know. I get it. It's Some dogs just do poorly at the shelter. Some do really bad at the shelter, and when they come to a home, they calm down quite a bit. Apparently, he would bite my wife every time he was or she was trying to touch him at the shelter, and as you can see here, he's, he's doing okay. Paco, you good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs> Having said that, we're still going to... <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, hi. Well, yeah. Uh, it was nice to meet you. My name's Pord, and well, this is my house. So, I just hope you know the ground rules: is that you don't pee on my NASCAR blanket. I might let you sit on it, but you just don't pee on it. <laughs> and well, you gotta let me sniff your butt. <laughs> Charlie loves you. Charlie wants to be your friend. He hopes you like pussy cats. <laughs> so. Also, as you can see, he is, we're going to just, just spy cam there, he is an intact male, so we'll have to get rid of those uh, those boys. Yeah, he's doing really well, considering how bad he was at the shelter. Yeah, you're a good boy. I he know. He wouldn't let me pick him up to put him in the car. I had to put a big blanket over him. Oh. Because he was going to bite me. So. so his story is that he was surrendered by his owner, who... Basically, you just didn't like that he barks. <laughs> uh, apparently, it triggered their PTSD. Um, oh, I don't want to go into speculation, but uh, based off of some things that the owner said, I have a feeling that she kicked him whenever he barked. I just have a feeling. But, uh, uh, you know, we don't want to make assumptions about people. <laughs> Charlie! <laughs> Charlie come came here to love you. <laughs> Charlie cat. <laughs> Charles. Here go boy. But yeah, he hasn't bitten uh, uh, he hasn't bitten us since he's been home. My wife was really surprised by that because even when she went to get him at the shelter, he was he was trying to bite her. Good oh, boy. This is his little enclosure for <laughs> for the night. It's in the basement because, yes, he is a barker and he's a whiner. So, you know, we wouldn't be able to get to sleep if he was upstairs. He's got my sweater there just to have something to... So he can smell me. Yeah. Here we go, boy. This might be a problem. Charlie Cat jumping into the cage. Charlie just wants to see his friend. <laughs> Thankfully, he's actually really good with the cats. Um, really good with the cats, really good with the dogs. He's uh, He's been great. He's, like, as you can see, he's turned, you know, he's not look, even looking at Charlie. He's not worried about him. Hey, good boy, Paco. Good boy. So, yeah, more on him as we assess him. Uh, I have a feeling he's going to be a tough case. He is extremely fearful. Anytime a hand or a foot gets near him, not anytime, obviously, because I'm petting him now. But uh, if he sees weird movements from hands or feet, even, you know, at a distance, he will wince and run and uh, it's just yeah any fear that he uh, any time he feels fear he will run like a deer pretty much not every single time but but yeah thank you for watching and uh i'm glad to have you guys with us while we're on this little journey here hope you have a great weekend and take care